Aloha. Top of the morning, friends and family. Uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sick. I'm pretty sick. And I, I want to talk to you guys about some of the changes that are going to be coming to the channel here. Um, and also just kind of go over why I think I'm sick. And yeah, I, I wasn't certain that I was going to do a video today, but I, I figured I missed last weekend's video because of the, the challenge I was doing. And I just didn't want to miss two videos in a row because that's unacceptable in my opinion. So I think I got sick because, well, there have been a lot of sick friends around um, recently. Like a lot of families we hang out with, people have been sick. But we've all been outside, so I didn't think that was it. But also if I take into the account that so on Saturday I did Spartan Race up in Lake Castaic. And the, at the end of the race, it was raining the whole race. It was like cold, but we're like pushing up these hills and doing all these obstacles. And then one of the obstacles is this big watery mud hole that you have to go in and under and by the time i've gone through it you know thousands of people have gone through this mud hole so there's that germ exposure and then just got in the car and drove right back home three hours immediately after the race which is probably a bad idea as well and then the next day i proceeded to play a bunch of pickleball and then the day after that i did a first uh crossfit workout i've done which i did more squats than i've probably ever done in my entire life in like one session and this is two days after that race and right before I did that workout, I, I got into a cold plunge tub at 41 degrees for eight minutes right before the workout. And then went and played pickleball that day, too, for two hours. And then the next morning, which was yesterday, I ran nine miles in the morning cold. <laughs> really cold outside, too, while I was running. So I kind of, I, I probably had it coming, just pushing myself to the limits of physical possibilities that my body can handle without dying. And now I'm sick. Now I'm sick, and I, uh, I'm sure I'll be better in a few days. But I, I'm one. Of, I don't know about you guys. But I'm one of those people that when I get sick, like it's like the world's ending. I'm just like, uh, somebody, uh, can you get me that water over there? Uh, <coughs> I got the black lung pop. Yeah, so Hilo, don't look at me like that, bro. <laughs> um. I'm going to give you an update also on our clutch here, the, the bamboo female that is keeping her clutch and some of them have hatched. I'll show you a couple of the snakes there. Um, but first I'll talk about what the... Elo. <laughs> um, I'm going to be bringing on an editor, which is something I never imagined I would do with this channel in particular. Uh, somebody to edit the videos for me. It's, it's going to be like a little trial session here, see how it goes. Because, I, again, I even just like a month or two ago, I, I was saying how I would never let go of the editing of this channel because it's like one of my favorite creative outlets and I love doing it. But the Lord has different plans, apparently. So I'm, so I'm just trying to listen to that and we'll see how it goes. Um, should be this very next video that we see what's happening there. So just stay tuned for later this week and and we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. And I'm hoping that, that in that, uh, it will not only bless the person that's going to be doing the editing, but also will free up some more of my time so I can really focus on getting the educational programs going back, especially since we're gonna be getting a second vehicle again next month and freeing up that time to be able to fo really focus down and kind of build a, uh, buzz around local reptile shows, you know, like schools and, and libraries again, since I never really got a chance to hit it locally too much. and was always out in um, Bakersfield where Brandon started. So there's that. And also let's take a look at this, these snakes right here, because two of the clutch have hatched. And I think I mentioned, yeah, you guys have seen this, but I didn't really show you the snakes too well. Um, two, oh, maybe I did. Anyway. Two snakes have hatched out of the clutch from the bamboo female there. And one of them is right here. This is the one I'm now remembering that I did actually show this this snake. They're kind of hanging out together here. <coughs> this is uh, likely an inchy spot nose. I don't think I don't think there's any red stripe, probably just inchy spot nose. And going into shed now because, you know, just hatched, got that fresh egg skin on still. And you guys have seen that one already, so. And then this bamboo here, I'm not sure everything that's happening with bamboo. I don't think it's just bamboo, which means there might be red stripes. Sorry, I'm not even holding her in the frame. She is a she. Uh, so there's that snake as well. And she is uh, 
hanging out and, and still hasn't had her first shed, but pretty excited to have that last clutch of the season be bamboo again. The last time we had that whole last clutch of the season song, it was a it was a bamboo clutch as well. So it's just you know, what do you call it? It's a tradition. Bamboo female lives the last clutch of the season around here, traditionally. But she's still so it's been over a week since those eggs have hatched. Those two eggs that she kicked out. And then she's still sitting on all these right here. And she's such a sweet girl, she just kind of lets us look. But you can see these e eggs don't look like they're anywhere close to hatching. It. They're like still plump. And uh, let me zoom in there for you. Yeah, they're, they're, still, they're still nice and plump. And maybe a hint of that back one starting to sink in just a little bit. Probably because she kept them. She scooted them a little bit more off of the heat than they would normally be in the incubator. I'm sure that has everything to do with why they're taking longer to hatch, but they look totally healthy. Then nothing's going wrong. Then mom knows what she's doing. So I'm just curious to see how much more time it will take for those eggs to hatch than the ones that have already hatched that were in the, in the incubator at 90 degrees. I'm actually going to go ahead and temp gun right now and see what these eggs are temping at. Looks like about 83 degrees, which probably people would like be, if their incubator was at 83 degrees, they're like, what is happening? Yeah, even the back eggs here, she's, and she's scooting them forward, so she knows her temperatures, so 83 degrees, seven degrees cooler in the incubator, that makes sense that they haven't hatched yet. And it'll just be interesting to see how the babies do once they're hatched and how the ones that have already hatched will do compared to the ones that haven't hatched yet once they do. You know, it's just a running little experiment I'm doing and I'll keep you abreast of all the results and it could be, it'd be interesting to see like if, if some ones start eating sooner than the others um, and all that type of stuff and just, just interesting data to track. But <clears throat> my brain is not working at full capacity, which is normal, but now it's even less capacity because of this sickness. So... I'm just going to go ahead and end this video before I make myself look like more of a fool than I usually do. And you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Don't forget to get yourself Freedom Breeder Rack Shelf. Don't forget to download the Morph Market app onto your phone because there's a lot of benefits there versus just using the online portion of it. And all those links are down in the description. We appreciate you guys supporting our sponsors as they support us in creating all this content. And... Uh, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. And hopefully I'll be feeling a little better by then. Aloha.